This is Ray's Magnetic Circuitry, Part 5, Transition Bar. In review of the magnetic principles of OverUnity. On my first video, we covered second story magnetics and 45 degree magnetics. My second video, I covered magnetic neutralization. My third and fourth video was magnetic field shifting and my fifth is magnetic transition bar. This is my diagram and this is the unit. This is more of a true magnetic circuitry. We're going from a north transitioning over to a south. If you've ever seen the magnetic fields on the magnet, they have many angles, they have various shapes, and what the iron bars do, they make a pathway, a magnetic pathway or a circuit. It concentrates and collects all these various stray magnets and they bring them in and conform them to the iron bar like a channel. This is my transition bar here. We'll take a compass. We'll go from the north. We'll see it shift. The magnetic fields are shifting through the bar over and transitioning over to the south. These fields, as they trans, uh, the transition takes place, the flapper magnet follows this variation, resetting at the south end, and then firing and lifting at the north. And the transition is very, very easily. It does not grip or stick but it easily allows it, I've covered that in other videos, to transition over. Okay. I have the same basic setup as I did in one, two, three, and four. I changed my flapper magnet, experimenting, and I have a quarter inch thick, half inch wide, and a half, inch and a half in length. I work with over unity events and systems. My idea is if I can engage and disengage my flapper magnet disengage, then engage and fire, that being a very low force compared to the force of the flapper magnet is exerting on my small generator, which is connected to five flashlights. And they each have nine LEDs in them, total 45. So what we want to do first is to find out the forces for engaging and disengaging. Beforehand, I had removed the flapper magnet area from the uh, interaction of the base so I could see what the drag, uh, this is a heavier setup than I've had before, so I wanted to see what force it is to have move this. It's also on a little wheel. You can see the little wheel there, and there's always friction there. So I found out it's about a, a half of an ounce. So we have our ounce indicator on the right side. 
is four lines going from zero to two ounces, so each line is a half ounce. So we can expect one half ounce, the minimum. Anything over the first line would be the uh, input. Let's go ahead and see that. <laughs> Doesn't take much. <laughs> so we have that. It's almost, let's do it again so you can watch that again. So we're at the fire position. So we're going to disengage. Okay. For one, one line can be expected. <laughs> it kind of moves itself over. But anyhow, uh, so we have a very, very small force to disengage. I want to hold my flapper in place. I do not want it to fire ahead of time. So we'll disengage it one more time. Way. Now that we've been engaged, we want to disengage. I had that backwards, didn't I? Okay, so now we want to disengage. So that engaging was very, very little. Very little. So anything over one, one can be expected. Do that again. Okay. And again, it's very, very small. Okay. So now it comes down that we have determined that the input and the output, which I call engaging, disengaging, comes down to what the flapper magnet is experiencing when it fires, turning the small generator. There was a uh, request that I would have the test point from the end of the magnet instead of uh, up, up toward the uh, bar. So I thank you for that. That, that was a good, good, uh, okay. So there we are, I'm at the edge. So if we have the same amount very, very low, not even coming up to the, uh, you know, one ounce. I didn't see that at all. But uh, here we're having, there's two ounces already. So we're past that point. about nine earlier. Here we are. About nine. So we're experiencing that nine ounces turning the little generator that's firing 45 LEDs. Now remembering that the input and output was very hard to detect. You know, it might have had a half ounce. So this is what I uh, assume that maybe having an over unity effect here. Of course, you can make up your own mind. I just have a lot of fun making these, so 
uh, you come up with different conclusions. That's that's good. I'd like to hear from from everyone also. Uh, the distances between the transition bar and the bottom of the uh, magnet. transition bar in the bottom of the flapper magnet about an inch inch and a half something like that you work with that and also forward and backwards it's about a half inch or so between the flapper and the transition bar hope you enjoyed this series there's more to come of course we can watch the action here it's quite a I can really feel that. That's, that's uh, kind of astounding. So anyhow, that's enough to light 45 LEDs at a pretty good brightness. Enjoy your inventing. Till next time.